Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the newest video in the Toy Shops of Tokyo. This is Volume 9 Sutang Hobby. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a new shop in Omotsando, which is an area in Tokyo near Harajuku. So walking in, look at this goofy finger. Oh, didn't even notice it at the time. Uh, you walk in and you are immediately greeted with some statues. These are Prime 1 pieces. Really cool. Uh, it's nice to be able to see them on display. Here's a Joy Toy piece. It's really nice. Behind it as well. We'll get to that in a second. Joy Toy does mostly like G.I. Joe scale, 118th kind of stuff. Um, here's some Minion stuff by Aoshima. And we have the Slam Dunk from the Shonen Jump manga. Look at all these little guys. This is Mega House. The Aoshimo. There's that finger again creeping in. Apologies on that. If you're into minions, those are some nice little pieces. There's that joy toy. Uh, the other piece that I mentioned. So it was a nice day in Tokyo, but it was a bit cold. Uh, here's some of the um, some of the Tamashi Nations, Kimetsu no Yaiba vinyl pieces, and some of the Figuarts mini. And down here, Mega House. That silly finger. It goes away. Don't worry about it. Uh, some more Figure Watts Mini. More of the SH Figure Watts. Naruto and other lines. Here's some Ultraman and more of the mini figures. Moving along, getting back into the figure watch, there's that Venom, which is a really great piece. You can see the Boba Fett with the throne there in the corner in the background. Um, there's the Mazinger Z, the newest in the line of the uh, Soul of Jogokin. Didn't pick it up. Wish I did. Might still pick it up. Big fan of Mazinger Z. Some more Soul of Jogokin stuff. Some of the metal build from Bandai. The Getter Robo stuff. Here's the Tech on Avengers. And that's the uh, Lightyear XL15. That's also a Soul of Jogokin piece. Um, I didn't pick it up. I, I, I'm not really sure why I didn't. It, it looks nice. It looks really nice, actually. Uh, I think I was probably waiting for it to go down in price. But as I said, I never ended up getting it. Some more uh, Gundam pieces. Moving along, some statues. Spider-Man Venom Carnage. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, helps the helps the video, helps the channel. Always appreciate it. Here's some of the Sentinel figures that... Peter Parker there um, on the lion head. I guess it's a lion's head with the newspaper. Great, great piece. Really, really nice piece. Some more of the Avengers. These stylized ones, I mean, they're nice, but they're very, um, you know, they're, they're their own kind of little niche thing. And it's almost impossible to integrate them into other other displays this cable and deadpool these are really cool as well i really like them with the broken sentinel very nice nice tandem piece here's some of the three zero iron man line 
these are really good. These are these are really well put together pieces. And for the most part, I mean, I think they're better than the figure art stuff that we've gotten. Some of the Mafex figures that have come out recently, that Loki just came out. And Kotobukiya pieces as well. That's a very cool Batman piece. Really like it. There's the Prime 1 Joker bust and some of the Prime 1 Cutie Ones, I think they're called. An assortment of Batman colors. Some more really nice pieces. Never a shortage of Batman and Joker pieces anywhere you go. Even in Japan. So this stuff is called uh, JoJo's Bazaar Adventure. And I am, I believe the company is Metacos. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I've never seen them before. I'm sure some of you have. Uh, this is new to me. So this shop itself, um, Sutang Hobby, the, sh the physical shop only just recently opened. It's nice, it's clean, it's a bit sterile. Um, but you can come in and you can see everything open in front of you. You know exactly what you're getting. It's very, very cool. Obviously, you can't touch. Um, the prices are pretty much retail. Um, but being able to come in and... and you know, see the how how well you can pose these things and what they look like outside of the box is good. Japanese manufacturers are still doing the plastic, which is good for those of you in the States who collect, for example, like Hasbro. They're moving towards uh, windowless boxes, which I'm not a fan. Um, but to be able to come in here is pretty good. So I, I was first exposed to this store actually online. Um, and, and this is actually one of the lines from Mr. Z. Mr. Z makes one six scale animals. Uh, JXK also makes one six animals. I have a few, few little pieces, um, to kind of complement different things. Um, you know, for example, like a, like a wolf from my three zero snake eyes, just as an example. Um, so anyway, I, I was exposed to this place, to this store, um, initially online and um they're one of the stores that when it sells out everywhere else they kind of come in and seem to have pretty much everything you're looking for once the initial stores sell out and and they to their credit they they usually list things at the normal price they never really inflate the price because of um because of demand so you know, credit to them. Look at this this piece with the the switches, the VR. So yeah, I, I mean, again, this is stuff that you could put on your desk at work or or whatever, just to kind of look at and give yourself a a little chuckle. Um, but the store they have an online store as well, um, and then they have this store. So. If you're in Tokyo, this is in Omotsando, which is near Harajuku, kind of near Shibuya. Worth your time coming in. Just, again, taking a look and seeing what they have.
There's a nice lineup of little figures. Same as, as here. These little figures are popular, especially amongst, you know, girls or women. They don't take up a lot of space. So this is Figma stuff. Um, Figma's always great. They put out a lot of really good accessories, like the table and the chair there, for uh, for mostly 112 scale. So, you know, if, if you're looking for something to add a little bit of um, variety to your, to your collection, getting some of those pieces is... Probably a good idea. This is some collection of dolls that I've never really seen before, but I know some people are interested, so here's a look. These dolls seem to incorporate different lines. You have Care Bears and um, Miffy's in there. and Some models. This is my first time seeing the box for this. Um, this is on display in the Tamashii Nation's Tokyo store. It's a beast of a figure. Um, but I had never seen the box before. This is the first time I'm actually seeing the box. And the box itself is, is a bit of a monster. It's really big. You know it's hardcore when they put a handle on the box. These are some exclusive items for their shop. If you come in and you want to get something maybe unique to the store, this little corner here has it. Again, if you could subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notification. Helps the channel immensely. Appreciate it. Thank you. So here's um, some of the Shinkansen and, and various JR trains that are kind of populated around Tokyo and other cities. There's the Yamanote line right there, the green one. Um, The Tommy Tech stuff is, it's really well put together. It's all die cast. It's great. It's very expensive though. But if you're a train enthusiast, you really can, you can't do better than it. It's top of the line. Nearly picked that up. Decided against it. Don't have the room. It's never really stopped me before, but for lines that I don't collect, um, I err on the side of caution. So you can see some little pieces there for like, you know, Matchbox or Atomica cars or Hot Wheels. They're really good for, for displaying um, your cars if you want to do a, a diorama in that scale. It's really nice. You can get those kind of small pieces here. These are like snap it um, model pieces like that Tomcat. More limited run um, cars from Tommy Tech. The Steamot stuff is pretty nice. It has that really aged, weathered look, which is really good. Very unique. Have some statue pieces over here.
pretty pricey. About a uh, hundred and eighty thousand yen. Maybe about I don't know, fourteen hundred dollars each. It's that prime one Batman. Cutie one Batman. Sort of like Kubrick. They make them in small sizes and big sizes. So there's a bunch of Ghibli um, stuff. I don't know how to describe it. But it's very impressive in person. It's very expensive as well. Um, but you can get these. I don't know if they're, they're paper. They must be paper. Um, you put them together. But you can recreate different scenes from the different films. 44,000 yen. It's crazy. But they're really nice. I mean, you, you can just see the quality in them. They're really, really nice. And Totoro, the cat bus on the house is really cool. Some Godzilla stuff there. More of the Metacom, some of the Bear Brick, the Kubrick, more Metacom stuff, Doraemon and, and Peanuts, Detective Conan, So again, just a, a very, very diverse amount of stuff in this store. Uh, and I've been in it a few times myself. Um, they're constantly moving and changing the displays, which is great. You know, you can go once a month and probably see totally new stuff on the shelf, which is all you can really ask for for a store, right? For all the eye candy. So um, if you're in Tokyo... If you're in the Shibuya area, if you're near um, Omotosando Hills, which is a shopping area, if you're near Harajuku, this is a very good shop um, worth visiting and um, checking things out. So, as always, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. And take care. See you next time.